Hi, I'm Carly. I'm 12 years old. Um, that's, that's weird, I know, being this video. Um, but I just thought I should get it out there. My story, some other stuff, I guess. Uh, um, but, yeah, I just guess I'll get right into this. Uh, I've been depressed. I've been suicidal. Still am. Um, that's why I'm making this video. That's why I'm putting it on YouTube. You gotta get over it. It's easier said than done. Yes, I know that. Um, probably not wording this right, but yeah, just gotta get over it. You're gonna think that the world doesn't understand you, everyone hates you, um, that you don't belong here, you'd rather die, you'd, I don't know. For me, it was, I don't belong here, I... No one understands me. I just have to die to make it better, but that's not true. It's not. Um. I cut. Still do. You're not just hurting yourself when you cut. You're hurting... The people that do care about you. You may not think anyone cares, but people do. And... The people that do care is also getting hurt. Because they're worrying about you. They don't want you to kill yourself. They don't want you to hurt yourself in any way. Ever. And, um, yes, they'll, they'll be mad at you. They'll yell at you. That's what my parents did when they found out I cut. And we fought about it. But they, they kept asking me why. Why I was doing it. Why I was cutting. Why I why I was starving myself, why I just hated myself, and I told them, told them everything, told them about the bullies. They didn't do anything. Well, they did. They went to school. School gave them referrals, and they bullied me more. They came back. When they came back, they were expelled. They got referrals. They got expelled. When they came back to school. They bullied me again. It never stopped until I left the school. Too late for that, though. They had already they had already bullied me. They had already gotten into my skin, put their lies in my head, saying I was nothing. How useless I am. That affected me. And, um, don't really know what to say anymore. Except I'm about to kill my cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the reason this is my like 400th time making this video keeps knocking down my camera um yeah so you just gotta stay strong you gotta fight the demons um you're gonna get a little voice in your head telling you that you should cut and hurt yourself in some way but don't Easier said than done, yes, but just, just don't. 
it's hard, yes, I know, but you gotta fight the voice, you gotta fight the demons, you gotta stop, because those scars, the ones on the outside, where you've cut, they're never going away, they're gonna be there forever, and when you're on the beach one day in your bathing suit and you look down at your wrist and you see all these scars or your ankles or thighs or whatever you're cutting at, you're going to see these hideous scars and you're going to ask yourself why you did it. You're, you're going to wonder what made you do that and then you're going to think of the bullies, you're going to think of your abusive parents or whatever happened to you or was happening to you at the time or whatever that made you cut or self-harm in any way and you're going to regret it. You're going to, you're going to want to change what happened but you can't. And those scars on the inside, those get better too. Well, those do get, those are the ones that get better. Um, take therapy, join a club, surround yourself by happy people. <laughs> um, do happy things, do things that make you happy. And if cutting makes you happy, then that's that's not right. Cutting shouldn't make you happy. Because you may think it's right, but it's not. It's wrong. Because it'll pull, it'll make, if you're going through like depression, um, it'll make the depression worse. It will pull you down even farther and farther and farther. Away from the light. Away from the sunshine and beautiful things that are in this world. Yes, there may be hell going on right now, but it gets better. It does. It gets a lot better. <laughs> and you gotta see that. And you gotta fight. You gotta fight for your life. You gotta fight for what's right for yourself. For others, not just yourself. And you gotta survive. <laughs> I know, cliche, or whatever, but you know, you got to. Because life gets better. And suicide doesn't make life stop from getting worse. It ends your chances of chances of getting life of life getting better. And you may not see that. But you got to. You gotta think positive. You gotta stay positive. You got do whatever makes you happy, or be creative, or something, like draw, or write, or play music, or do a sport, or something. Um, don't cut. Don't self-harm. Um, I did. And, and I'm home alone right now. And my depression, it gets worse when I'm home alone. Because it makes me feel that no one cares to be here with me. Even though I know they do. Just what it feels like. You can't think that way. You gotta stay happy. You gotta stay positive. Turn the TV on or 
for background noise where you don't get lost in your own thoughts. Put something on that interests you, like the ID channel or Discovery or something. Because if it's quiet, you're gonna get, you're gonna start thinking. When you start thinking, you think about depression, suicide, cutting, self-harm, and it makes it worse. It brings it back. Which is weird, I know, I'm making this video talking about this shit when I'm home alone, but I'm fighting it right now. That's what you gotta do. And I know someone. Her parents were abusive. And she thought it was her fault that her mom was getting beat by her dad. But it wasn't. And you gotta know that. If your parents are total assholes, then just know it's not your fault. Um, you gotta fight them. Not fight them, your parents, but you gotta realize something. There's other kids like that too. And they think it's their fault. So they cut, or self-harm, or they get depressed and sad, and that's what makes them be suicidal. That's what makes them kill themselves. But if you are one of those kids, just know something. You're not alone. You're not. I know what it's like to be emotionally abused, not physically, but emotionally lived with my aunt that was like that. She didn't care. She didn't care. Um, so yeah. I guess, guys, that's really it for now. Oh, I will make another video. Tell me if you like it or not. Um, I will. And next time it probably won't be about depressing shit. But, yeah. Peace. And remember, stay positive. Bye.